In this video, we're going to be taking this dog sh look at attack animation and turning it into something that uh, maybe actually looks a little bit good. If you're new around here, g'day, my name's Randy, and I'm making a survival crafting game from scratch in a programming language called J. Um, the game looks like us right now, as you can see. We're in the middle of a big overhaul, so just, you know, shut up, trust the process. Ooh. Focus mode in, let's rock and roll. So I've been doing a little bit of mining off camera over the Christmas holidays. First things first, we got the day night cycle. I don't think I had that in the last video, who knows? Anyway, it's in now, right? And I've been working on the wave spawning. So you'll notice the slimy boy just spawned in, right? And if we go and head in, yoink him and then you know pretend that the night time goes a little bit further and we get like the second slime spawning in and then we doink him yay we completed the night now there's like kind of like an actual game to play now and the game is survive as long as possible without dying because when you die what else we got? So that wave spawn right there, I've simplified things a bit. And each night we're literally just gonna add a new thing to the case statement and list out all the enemies that are gonna spawn during the night. And then I've just got like a really simple algo here, which just takes that array and just spreads it out across the night and spawns them in. So that should be a simple way of just authoring a new night. So we'll say like that's night one and then just accidentally pasted my steam link, nice. Which list the game down in the description if you want. <laughs> Actually, that's gonna be night, night, night zero, right? Uh, and then we can just like add stuff to here. Yay, more slimes. So then on night two, it should get a lot more hectic. <clears throat> Uh-oh, I did it again. Ah! <laughs> and another thing I've been working on is a bunch of y'all mentioned in the comments of the recent video that uh, having the ax destroy your base is gonna be fucking annoying. And I agree. So what I did was uh, actually just whipped up some new tools. So we got the sickle, the sledgehammer, the sword. I mean, we, we already had a sword, but it's wooden now. So yay. And so it basically means that the ax, you know, isn't going to cut down all these things. It's only for chopping trees and uh, doinking these slimy boys. Ow. So violent. And then we got the sickle here, which, you know, you can't really see because it's kind of munted at the moment, but... Ignore it. That'll be how you destroy the plants and stuff. And last but not least, we got the sledgehammer, which is how you destroy the structures. So you've got like a dedicated tool for actually destroying it. It seems like the easiest solution. So we're going to roll with it. And uh, yeah, I think we're all caught up now. It didn't get up to much. Uh, mainly just been chilling out over the, over the holidays. Chilling on a weekend like usual. But yeah, it's time to get back into full steam. Starting off with this. Uh, does not look good. <laughs> The attacking what looks horrible. So we're gonna do a second pass on making the attacks look good across all the different tool types and hopefully we can get it looking uh, not shit. So let's dive into it. <clears throat> so we're gonna do something. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little something I like to call copy exactly what Terry has done, which is this. Hey Terry, I was gonna hassle you about the weapon rotation yet again okay i'm trying to get my attacking not looking shit yes sir in the video you just have it like flip back and forth right there's no like real easing right yeah i was i was i was doing a flip with like a little bit of ease but it was only on the arm rotation like there was no hand rotation if you only do arm it looks very stiff yeah that's that's the feeling I'm getting right now. Because the sword swings so fast, I will snap it halfway and then start the animation from there. Like it, you really, you cannot see it like swing right. upwards. Yep. It, because it's so fast, like like I, I can't be wasting frames on like the swing, you know? And so really all I'm showing is like the follow through mostly. And that's just an ease out back, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, you got an ease out back here. The default is like, so if I if I had no translation, the arm would be out here and then the sword. Imagine the blue is the hand rotation. Yeah. And so if you only rotate the arm, it would just like swing everything up and then the sword would be pointing upward. Mm. And so to get this right here, so there's two things going on here. Mm. You have to do an arm rotation of like negative pi divided by two and then um, the sword, which is not, it's not pointing straight down. So that's like another negative divided by two so that the hand rotation would be like that it gets a little weird all the animations have to flip properly and where you do the transform like will determine like if it works or if it's fucked yeah all right i think i've got it 
internalized. Sorry. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's a, that was very, very helpful. So you're going to do it? Yep. I'm going to go do it. All right. Good luck. Peace. Thank you. Later. All right. We're back. Uh, I know what to do now. Yay. Thank you, Terry. Oh, God. Back down the rabbit hole we go. Epic transition. All right. What does that say? Drink, eat music. Nice. It's a new day. Coffee's at the ready. Let's get fucking crackle like it might. Oh, today's going to be a good day. I can feel it in my bones. All right. So step one of fixing this is we're going to get every single item being horizontal like this in the exact same spot. So to fix up the axe, give it a grip offset. So the offset is just the handle offset, which will come up to about here. So 314, maybe. And then we've got a rotation offset as well to like snap it into making it horizontal. So I think that'll be like 35 degrees or something. Um, and those two just get applied to the transform. So it should kind of not work. Cool. Maybe negative 35. There we go. You know, like it's not exactly 35 degrees. I have no idea what that angle is. I drew this at the weirdest angle. I have no idea why I drew it like this. It's what it is. <laughs> so we'll also bring in the wood sickle and the wood sledge hammer. So the wood sickle is going to need 90 degrees to get down horizontal. And then the sledge hammer is just going to be 45. And I think that should do the trick. Look at that. Easy peasy. Squeezy lemon. Nice. I probably need to redraw the axe so it's like diagonal, but who cares? Future me problem. Okay, so now that we've got everything just in the one spot, all right, we can go ahead and animate the shit out of it. Cue the epic montage of me shuffling around transformation matrices until something works. There we go. We got a nice little arm rotation, shoulder rotation, whatever you want to call it. Hmm, that's a problem. <clears throat> Let me fix this. There we go. Oh, that's the money shot right there, baby. Oh, look at that. The old matrix shuffle, my favorite move. So that 10 here, you know, we can make it like 40. It'll rotate around like a center point of like the radius. So it basically like translates it up 40 and then, you know, we rotate around that point. So I think for the animation, we probably want something like yeah, maybe 15. I don't know. So that's step two, I think. Or maybe step three. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, let's pretend it's step two. Step three, we do the exact same thing, but after we do the translation. So now we've got like a little grip rotation here, right? Yeah, look at that. And then we can combine those two together. So that's step three or four. So there we go. That's like the range of motion for the arm. And we can make that look a little bit better by chucking a ease out back. That's more like it. Now, the good thing about having the different tool types is we can switch up the attack length. Nice. But to make it look better, Terry reckons you uh, got to chuck in a little grip rotation as well, mate. So we'll do that as well. Um, how should we do this? <sighs> I'm just gonna have to eyeball it. There we go. Okay, so I think it'll be like negative 60 to zero. Something like that. Like that looks all right, uh, but we can just throw an easing curve on this one as well. Terry did an ease out circ here. Okay, interesting. So let me just type that out real quick. All right, what do we got? Uh, fucking math shit. Squirt. <laughs> I think that should do the job, mate. Let's see. Let's see. Moment of truth. Watch it in slow-mo. Yeah, it still kill it, it still feels kind of rigid. Maybe it needs to be like way more. Cause I think Terry said like half pi or something. Half pi is 90 degrees. Maybe it's the other way. Cause that still looks strange. Yeah, it still doesn't look great. So let me just figure out the tuning for this for the next like 30 minutes or so and we will magically edit.
Alrighty, so I think we've got that feeling all right. So we'll move on to the next step, which is doing the flip flop. We've got to get it going around the other way as well. All right, and there we have it. That's feeling a whole lot better than the last one. And it actually works with the other weapons now, which is amazing. Yay. Still probably needs like a little bit of tuning, uh, especially with like the slash animation thing. I think I'm going to flip the sickle around there. So I think that's around the wrong way. All right. That's yeah, feeling so much more smooth. I love it. One last thing I want to do real quick is just add sound effects to this so that it actually sounds like we're doing a little whoosh. So if we don't hit anything, we'll check a little else here and play sound. So we've already got one of those in. So we'll just call the sword swing miss. There we go. Girl. I've still got time in the day, you know, <laughs> plenty of time. We're just getting started. All right, one more thing I want to do real quick because this is annoying the shit out of me. You see how the particles, they just like fly off into the void. I'm going to make them have a collision real quick. So I think something cool might be uh, if we like actually just make it bounce. So I wonder if we can just invert the Y velocity. Maybe that'll just make it bounce off the ground. Look at that. <laughs> it's just going to keep bouncing. We'll put some dampening on us. So we'll only make it like 0.5 or something. There we go. That's looking good. Still not perfect, but I reckon we can call it there and actually move on to more important things than <laughs> just tweaking this infinitely. All right. So one more thing I want to do to polish this off, round out the attack animation is to basically make it go behind the player up the top and then in front down the bottom, like what Terry's done. So let me try that out. Holy moly! All right, that's not looking too bad. Big shout out to my boy Terry who helped me out with that and uh, to all the other people that came before him who he stole it from. Anyway, that's this video done. Go watch this one if you want to see how the game started out, I guess. Or just have a good day.